Alright, so I said that I'd do a review on uh, a couple of the items that I purchased for my underground Russian secret bunker gym. So, uh, one of the first purchases that we made aside from all of the barbell and dumbbell kit was these two inch uh, adjustable dumbbell handles. So I'm going to bring it a little closer to the camera. So you notice that they're quite thick. I think we went for the 17 centimeter sleeve. So you can fit, well, I fit about 30 kilos on here currently, but I'm gonna show you that you can fit on, because it's a two inch sleeve. You can fit on Olympic discs, but you can also fit on the fractions which I've got behind me. So the first kind of neat thing about uh, these dumbbells is that they're interchangeable with the fractionals. So on here, it looks like a lot of weight, but it's actually only 21 kilos. Um, you can put the fractionals on, but then what you can also do is you can have an Olympic disc and you can pop them on either side as well, which is kind of cool. So it means, you know, if you're doing maybe like a dumbbell deadlift or you want to put a little bit more weight on. We don't have any smaller fives, unfortunately, but it is what it is. The next kind of neat thing about uh, this item I'm not sure if you can see, I'll bring it a little closer, is that it actually has knurling, which is kind of cool. So, a little bit of grip training for the, uh, for the old calloused hands. And the other benefit as well is that the sleeves spin, which at first I wasn't too sure that I would like, but to be honest, it's quite nice in the hands when you're doing something, it feels like your wrist can actually move about rather than it being restricted. But I'd say the only downside to it, um, revolving in your hand is that if you're doing something like uh, a man maker or um, something that involves you doing a push up and then a row, uh, like a renegade row, it's not very stable. So the only thing really that you can do is like pressing, rowing, uh, curls, tricep work, even you know RDLs, split squats, stuff like that. It's really versatile. I mean, I've just got some nine, nine pound clips on the edge of the uh, on the edge of the dumbbells here, and if I hold that, it's pretty freaking strong. So even if I wanted to do something like a goblet squat, I know that that's going to hold a fair amount of weight on there. Um, to be honest, that's pretty much it. I mean, we've used these for a couple of weeks now, um, and I've used them for all sorts of things: pressing, pulling, uh, goblet squats, uh, split squats, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I got these from eBay, so I believe when I ordered them they were about £80 and I wanted to just try them out. They might seem quite expensive, but to be honest, if you buy uh, a normal set of hex bar dumbbells, they're probably going to be roughly between £60 to £80 anywhere. Else. The benefit to this is this dumbbell already weighs 5.5 kilos. So already with just two dumbbells, I've got, uh, I've got 11 kilos there. All right? If I then load these up with 20 kilos on each dumbbell, I've got 40 kilos of dumbbell, and all I need is some fractionals and maybe a couple of smaller, chunky fives. So, to be honest, I the other the other thing is that like I can just bring this downstairs, and I've got two dumbbells that I can either take upstairs, downstairs, and I can interchange them between if I'm doing split squats or pressing or pulling. It's like super versatile. So hopefully that helped. Again, uh, I'll probably put this link uh, in the Instagram video, or maybe I'll put this on YouTube as well. So I picked them up for $79.99. I'm on eBay, and I think they were called the ZKN 2-inch adjustable dumbbells. So cool. Thanks very much, guys.